In this tutorial video we're going to talk about how to use the array commands and more specifically we're going to talk about how to use the array path command. Uh, I'm using the array worksheet which if you're one of my high school students you'll find that in your box.com uh, account and if you're one of my college students I probably emailed it to you. So I'm going to roll in here to the array path area and <coughs> excuse me. This is going to be uh, arraying these blue rectangles along these blue paths. So the first thing I'm going to do is type array path and hit enter. And it says select objects. So I'll select my object. I'll right click or hit enter. Then it says select path. So I'm going to select my path. Now of course that doesn't look right. <clears throat> and that's because we have to go down and go to base point. As you can see, here's our base point for our original object. Now they're up along the path, but <clears throat> they don't match the answer key. The answer key is the gold center lines. So it says we're going to have 14 items in the array, and we want it to fit to the path, and we want to use the divide method. So I'm going to go down to method, and I'm going to select divide. Then I have to go to items, and I'm going to type in 14. And now you can see it's arrayed perfectly. <coughs> now we're going to use the array path slightly different. I'm going to type in array path, select my objects, right click or hit enter, select the path, and <coughs> the first thing we have to do is base point. And here's our second base point right there. So as you can see, they're not quite looking the way they, sh they should. This time it says six items in the array and they want 1.5 between them. So we have to go to method. <coughs> Since we have an actual distance, 1.5, we have to go measure. Then we go items. And the first thing it asks us is specify the distance between the items. Well, there's 1.5 inches between the items, but we also have to account for the width of the item, which is one inch. You can see that right here. So we'll go 2.5. And then it's already set up defaulting to 6, so we'll just hit enter. Otherwise, we would have had to have typed 6. So that's the first one. <coughs> Let's look at this one. So we have array path again. And it says to select your items to, off, uh, to array. There it is. Right click or hit enter. Now it says select path. Okay. Now, of course, it doesn't look right, does it? So that's because we have to go to base point. And we're going to roll in to select our base point right here. Now you'll see they're along the path, but it still doesn't match, does it? It says we have 25 items, and they are fit to the path by using the divide method. So we go method, divide, items, and it says there's 25. So I hit enter. And now it matches perfectly. So let's try it again. Array path. Array path. <coughs> it says to select my objects. Here's my object. I hit enter or I right click. And then it says select the path. And of course it doesn't match the path yet because we have to use base point. We go in and select our base point. Alright. Now we have a two inch distance and ten items. So since there's a two inch distance, I know my method is going to be measured. And I go items. So the first thing it says is, what's the distance? It's 2. How many items? 10. It's defaulting to 10, so I just hit enter. There it is. It's arrayed perfectly. So here's the final one we're going to do. <coughs> Array path. It says to select the object you want to array, so I select it. by left clicking on it, then I right click. And then it says to select the path. So I'll left, left click on the path. Now of course that doesn't look like it should, so the first thing we're going to do is base point. Go in and select my base point. Now they're along the path, but we don't have the right number of objects. And again, it says the method is measure six items three inches apart. So we're going to go method, measure, items. It says what's your distance? Three. How many objects? Six. It's defaulting that, so I'm going to hit enter. 
Now it still doesn't match it because it's aligned the objects to the path. We don't want that. Items are not aligned to the path. So I'm going to go align items. It's defaulting to yes. I'm going to go no. Now that's a modal option. <coughs> until I tell it to be not aligned to the path again, it's going to, or t until I tell it to stop uh, <coughs> not aligning, it's going to be in that condition. So the next time we want something that's not aligned to the, that, that's aligned to the path, we'll have to go and change that back to yes. So that is how you use the array path command.